What is body contouring? We see patients who are individuals who have lost a lot of weight, sometimes in excess of 100 or even 200 pounds. And despite their healthier lifestyle, they're left with signs of the weight loss, deflated skin, excess rolls, lack of smooth contours. So what we can do is smooth out those contours and make them look nice and happy to show off their progress. Body contouring procedure steps really go from head to toe. Uh, we do facelift procedures for excess skin in the face and neck, which actually age patients um, and make them look older with the weight loss. A youthful face is a full face. We work on the breasts, which sag and lose fullness. We work on the arms, which get skin excess and redundancy. A lot of people use their arms, especially in the gym, now that they're on this healthier lifestyle and they don't like that excess skin. The abdomen is the most common area that we treat. Over 90% of the time, people are looking to improve the appearance of the abdomen. Uh, the buttock area, the upper back area, and even the legs and thighs. I typically tell my patients they should plan on at least two weeks of downtime from work. Uh, they want to be more focused on the recovery and not distracted by other things. Um, they may need help at home um, and certainly will need help at home for the first several days. Uh, but typically patients can think about driving within after a week of surgery, which may range depending upon how much surgery is done and can typically go back to work, I'd say at about two weeks. Results are why we love doing this operation. The plastic surgeon loves it because they're so impactful and the patients love it because it really converts them to where they should be with how they feel. The scars can take a while to completely mature and certainly there's no way in doing an impactful operation without involving a scar because there's no magic way to remove skin. So we do try to make our scars thin and well camouflaged and we work with our patients to make the scars as optimal as possible. The results are long lasting and um, as long as the patient maintains a good uh, healthy lifestyle, um, the results should last forever. Many people who come in for plastic surgery have already done some research and the research might not either not be accurate or might not be applicable to their particular case. The reason to meet with your plastic surgeon is to discuss your particular case and to answer questions. Many patients come in with lots of questions, which is ideal. Uh, we should address those questions. Questions about recovery, about risks, about how to deal with the time that they need to take away from their family or their work. Plastic surgery, although you might choose to have it, is real surgery, and real surgery does come with risks that are discussed. Um, we try to mitigate um, any kind of risks that might occur, things like bleeding or wound healing problems or even things like blood clots. Because we know those risks, we try to avoid those risks. The best way we can have our patients avoid those risks is to have their surgeries done in an accredited facility by a board certified plastic surgeon endorsed by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Do your homework with the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Check out before and after photos. Read about the procedures at plasticsurgery.org.